and welcome back to my channel intuitive envisions 1111 thank you guys so much for liking commenting sharing and subscribing to the channel i do really appreciate it welcome to those of you new tuning in this is the daily telepathy so um, this is for those that identify with the twin flame connection this is not going to resonate with everyone since this is a general reading um, if you find yourself with more questions and answers it's probably not your reading don't try to make it fit uh, this is, um, I mean, I do offer up personal readings if you're interested in booking one of those with me. That information is going to be below, as well as all the decks I'll be using here today. Uh, most of the items you see, including uh, the jellyfish uh, lamp, jellyfish are not real, my Instagram information, and if you'd like to support the channel, um, all that information is going to be below in the description with the link. Um, what I'm going to do here is, um, like I have mentioned before with the daily telepathy, I'm kind of just going to do different things on different days. So it's not going to be um, the same format um, every day all the time. Just whatever um, I'm feeling called to do. So today I'm just going to focus on uh, just a really quick update of the Divine Masculine, um, his energy towards um, the Divine Feminine. And we're just going to focus on that thoughts, like what's, his, what's going on in his thoughts, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is the energy oracle cards. This is the energy the divine masculine is in towards the divine feminine in this twin flame uh, connection. And we have number 24, adjacent possibilities. This number 24 could, you know, be significant. That also is six, which is about balance. So it um, seems that the divine masculine is in this uh, energy of like exploring all the possibilities when it comes to this connection um, there's you know doors opening everywhere there's a lot of uh, choices that he could possibly make um, when it comes to this divine feminine but there's some kind of energy um, with you know that it opening okay so I'm just going to get a quick little um, wow I opened it right to the page that's amazing I love when that happens uh, many unconsidered options is what it's about. Okay. And uh, let me see. I'm going to go to more of this part. I'm just going to read a little piece of it. Sometimes the force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happy, happier choices at hand. Yet every uh, moment gives you the option to open a different door and take a different course whether it's in your thoughts, behavior, or major life decisions. Okay, so what I'm getting already is that is he is already, you know, in his thoughts when it comes to this divine um, feminine. He's already thinking about the uh, uh, possibilities of things that maybe he hasn't explored before when it comes to this divine feminine and that is kind of opening up. So let's go ahead and see... Um, where his thoughts are i'm going to get five cards for that um this is my situations deck <clears throat> excuse me this is um available if you live in the united states um below on my site or my etsy shop but if you're international and interested in uh, any of my decks uh, please send me an email below and i will send you the link so let's go ahead and see um i'm going to get five cards for what's going on in his thoughts when it comes to divine feminine waves so we have emotions coming and going so he's thinking about you know something on an emotional level so there's emotions kind of coming and going when it comes to the divine feminine he's and he's uh what i'm getting he's thinking of what to do about this how to address this maybe there's things he hasn't explored maybe he hasn't been open um, to emotions um, in the past so tell me more about these waves. Desire, lust, sexual chemistry. So he is having a lot of, um, you know, which is not shocking, a lot of desire for the um, divine feminine, but he's feeling these emotions, um, maybe receiving it, um, this lust and the sexual chemistry between the two of them. And it's, it's starting to open, like it's, it's starting to uh, want to explore this energy. Also, 
what I'm getting to with it for some of these divine masculine. They might be wondering if the divine feminine is exploring, you know, her um, adjacent possibilities, uh, you know, maybe involving other people. This also could be causing um, these waves of emotions um, to come in with this divine masculine as to, you know, maybe him needing to make a decision on it. So let's get some more information. Why is this desire card here? Ascension. Spiritual path. Um, awakening. So this is this is going forward. This is something that he is open to exploring. He's feeling that emotional connection. He's feeling that passion. And he's feeling some kind of connection. There's like a light, you know, here um, shining in. Like there's, there's some that energy like some sunlight some light uh coming in on his part is what i'm getting so we have this ascension all right so tell me more about this ascension this spiritual path this awakening escapade vacation hideaway adventure okay so he is thinking about in his thoughts um he is starting to possibly thinking about getting away with the divine feminine, going on a vacation, a hideaway of adventure, possibly making some type of plans. At least he is thinking about it because we do have adjacent possibilities. So he's really thinking about this. Like I said, some could be their emotions could be um, causing waves of emotions because he's thinking that this divine feminine might be um, also I'm getting for some might be thinking that she might be thinking of you know getting away leaving um, herself going off on some kind of an escapade um, as well so tell me more about this escapade intervention rescue others involved okay so yeah what I'm getting is that this div divine masculine is, um, for some are thinking about, is she um, going to get away? Is she going to go towards other people? Because we have a rescue and we have others involved. Now, for some, there this intervention could be from spirit, spirit intervening, or they could be uh, their friend, you know, friends around helping in the situation, uh, maybe helping to make plans, looking at these. Um, you know possibilities some could be wondering um, as well if they want to remain single or if they want to leave um, their options open so let's go ahead and see why this is here or get more information as to say these are my twin flame messages so i'm going to get five messages from your twin um to you to divine feminine and divine feminine could be a male or female um i'm i'm not being uh, gender specific at any um, time these are just energies all right so let's get five messages you are very attractive okay so that would explain why the desire there um, is there that less that sexual trimity <laughs> attrimity. there I go I made up a new word a trimity that's attraction and chemistry together okay a trimity. Remember that. <laughs> I probably even forget, but I just made up a new word. <clears throat> so you are very attractive. So they're having a lot of passion, a lot of um, lust for you. And this is starting to, I feel like, open this energy to make them uh, send and want to come forward, want to get away, go on a, off an adventure. Um, like, again, maybe there is someone... Um, uh, people helping him spirits um his guides or friends <clears throat> let me sip take a sip okay so and that could also be causing those emotions too as well i have to sort some things out so there's something um in his head that he's thinking about that he needs to sort out when it comes to this connection or maybe an intervention or maybe um, other people that could be involved in in it you know with planning i 
and we have transportation issues. So this is about movement um, or this could actually be, you know, sometimes uh, people have uh, transportation issues, something to do with their car or being able to travel, maybe not being able to travel because of, you know, whatever the reason. Um, it can be, you know, someone's car broke down or, you know, maybe you're having to watch uh, kids or, you know, parents, anything like that. But there's some uh, transportation issues. And then... I can't get you off my mind. So again, you're in in this uh, masculine's thoughts where they just can't stop thinking about you. I'm also getting with this. I have to sort some things out and transportation issues. They're trying to figure out how to uh, move forward um, towards what they're they're wanting. So we have, I'm sorry, I'm not there for you now. Um, there could be because there are other people involved in this situation. Um, uh, there could be a lot of reasons why that is. I'm going to just get, this is the um, steampunk tarot. I'm just going to do really quick because I want to keep this very, these readings very quick. Let me see if he'll tell me more about what um, the bimasculine has to sort out. What is this main subject of what he has to sort out? King of Swords. So this is plan, plans, thinking. Um, this could be about communication, but this is about some type of plans. Okay. So we have the King of Swords energy. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but doesn't mean so. Anybody that um, has that serious approach and that is in their head, you know, logically thinking. All right. So let's see. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not there for you. Why is that? What's the reason? And we have Seven of Pentacles. Um, this is a card of waiting. Um, this is reevaluating, um, investing in the future. So there could be some uh, waiting um, in involving other people or waiting for something to take place that is involving other people. And one more and then I'm going to move on. <laughs> so um, transportation issues. What is this about? Let's do that one more time. Six of Cups of returning. So this is a problem um, of returning or possibly something to do with their past. So either the issue of movement is this Divine Masculine um, returning um, to, you know, come back. Or it has something to do with this past, maybe involving other people. So let's go ahead and see what's on the uh, bottom here. This also could be that uh, he could be wondering if you are wanting to return um, if he goes forward with this. So we have broken heart. So we have nine. So this divine masculine is, you know, feeling heartbreak, uh, feeling this pain, feeling um, possibly a separation with that energy right there in the middle. And we have threatened, embarrassed appearances. So I'm, I'm sensing that he's feeling a lot of heartbreak and sadness because of him focusing on appearances. Um, Instead of, you know, um, focusing on the connection and see, we have losing sleep over you. So this, your, uh, the divine masculine is losing sleep over the, his, um, thoughts of these, um, you know, focused on this threatened energy, you know, being embarrassed and all that stuff or how it looks to, you know, people around him, you know, other people and things of that nature. So we have six, the lovers, you could be dealing with the Gemini, doesn't mean so. This is also the Twin Flame card, that ultimate passionate love. And we see that this Divine Masculine is very passionate with, um, about this Divine Feminine and feeling that broken heart energy. Okay. All right. And that is another number six too. Okay. So uh, actually it's three sixes. So yeah, there are some thoughts about uh, balance. Okay. Balance and out this connection. All right you guys so thank you so much for watching um if this resonated with you please uh, like comment or share if you're new to the channel please subscribe again i do offer personal readings if you're interested in that or any of my decks please see the information below so thanks again everybody for watching i appreciate you very much have a good day or night whatever it is where we are and until next time next video peace love and light